Uh, this is Paul Duchenne and Rob Sass of Sports Car Market Magazine. We're at the Silver Auction in Portland, Oregon on March 31st, uh, 2007, and we're looking at some cars that are coming up for sale. This is a 1969 uh, XKE Coupe, um, the uh, rare and undesirable slush box version. Uh, it's a claimed 28,000 mile car, but as I was telling Rob, if it's got 28,000 miles on it, I'm only 30. It looks as though it's been stored for a projected period. Um, there's bubbles on the paint which suggests it was under plastic. Um, the interior is sort of shrunk and dried, which is actually not a bad achievement uh, in uh, the Northwest where it rains all the time. So I'm guessing from that standpoint, it probably was dead indoors. You know? Dead indoors under a plastic tarp. I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. And this is actually, it's actually not a coupe. This is actually a two plus two oh. with a slush box, which makes it probably not only the slowest, but probably the most undesirable XKE that they ever made. You know, you're right. In fact, this is, as we talked about, this is the perfect donor car for the Harold and Maud. Um, the hearse? The hearse. Oh, I think you're absolutely yeah. right. I mean, this car screams, make me into a hearse. But, yeah. Um, uh, it doesn't look like it's been particularly abused. It's just, I, I think you're right. I think it sat dead somewhere um, underneath the plastic tarp for a very, very long time. If I was a betting man, I'd say the automatic transmission on this failed early on and somebody didn't have the money to fix it or couldn't find a mechanic to fix it and so it just ended up sitting or maybe it was suffered from uh, electronic gremlins good heavens could that In be an possible? english car yes hard um, to believe, isn't it? so okay rob so uh, when, when do you close your wallet how far do you go on the bidding on this one oh my gosh you know what it just it's just not worth bringing back um it's a 69 which means that all the really nice touches from from the series one cars uh, the the 61 to 67 cars are gone you've got the headlights right here they used to have nice glass covers on them uh, -huh. uh you know from 61 until 67 those were removed. Uh -huh. uh, you've got the really, on the inside, you've got the, the flick type toggle switches from the Series 1 cars. Those are gone, replaced with safety rocker switches. Oh. It just doesn't have much in the way of charm. Add to that the fact that this is a 2 plus 2. Oh. It's got the hunchback roof line right. and an automatic transmission, and there's just nowhere to go with this car. Anything that you put in this car, you will not get out at sale time. So, you know, I don't know. If, um, if the car can be uh, turned into a hearse, a la Harold and Maude, yeah. or it can be brought back just mechanically so that it's a safe driver. Um, that's that's really the only way to go. Just um, you know, get the mechanical systems functioning well, and you know, from 30 feet, you've got a reasonably stylish driver. But given the fact that uh, you know, I think you're right. I think this car sat for a very long time. I think the chances that you could economically bring it back mechanically are fairly slim. So. You know, one thing we didn't mention. It must have been sitting in a Safeway parking lot as well, because every car that parked beside this car opened the door into it. I've never seen so many dings down both sides of an E-Type. That's true. I think this car wins, you know, the, the World Indoor Championship for, for door dings, without a doubt. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. You make it the center. <laughs> Salad bar? Um, there you go. There's a possibility. Uh, okay, so where do you stop bidding? Hang it on your wall. Where do you stop bidding? I'm, uh, let's assume it runs. Okay, let's assume it runs. It starts up and, and the brakes work and, and the electrical stuff. Oh, works. you're stretching it there. All right. Um, you know, I think you stop bidding at uh, uh, somewhere around $7,000 in this car. $7,000, $8,000. I think you're right. That's my call, too. There you go.